Hello everyone and welcome to another tutorial sponsored by Digit Space and is also about SIM 800L GSM module. This is the third video and as you saw in the beginning, we requested a specified sensor to send us its data all via SMS or text. So in case you missed, the first video was about sending a text from the Arduino to the phone. The second one was about dialing phone numbers and as a project I made a laser tripwire alarm that will call you if someone passes through. So when you use this module in a project, you sure want to communicate with your device using your phone, especially SMS communication, and you need a trigger to tell your device to send you that SMS. So before we used a push button, but using this module means that you have to put this device on a remote area and for those cases you can either make a threshold for which the device will send you a sms or add a rtc module and send sms periodically those are easy projects or and as we'll see today request those information via sms and for example as you can see here i have dht11 and mlx 90 614 contactless thermal sensor i have already done a tutorial about each of them easy so the wiring is already done don't worry there will be always full schematics for free so you can replicate this project if you want so here as you can see i have a sim 800l evb version there are several versions it can make a change in the code or in the wiring depending on your module but i'm using this one and it's powered via lithium battery it's 7.4 volt used with a buck boost converter used as a buck converter to deliver 5 volt to the module and here wired with arduino using txd and rxd with rx and tx as we used before and here i have a small ground for the other modules it's really easy too this one uses sda and sl which means it uses i squared c interface with the Arduino, it's already wired in with the A4 and I5, and the DHT uses one wire only, it's wired with pin number 7, and both of them are powered by the Arduino using 5 volt and ground. And so the first thing we're gonna see, just receiving a simple SMS and show it on the serial monitor. So for the moment we won't need DHT11 and the MLX sensor, but we're gonna keep them wired let's check the code so this is the first code i'm using and it's really simple i used a pretty much similar one before so here we have software serial library and here we declare the serial pins we use to communicate with the sim 800l so 2 and 3 are rx and tx but they are wired with the module txd and rxd they are inverted and here i have this char received sms that i don't use I don't know why it's here maybe when I did some tests so here first we begin the serial communication with the sim 800L at this baud rate same thing for the communication between Arduino and the serial monitor and here we print starting and we give 5 second delay just uh, the time for the module to establish communication and here we send AT command and Every time we use uh, a command, we want to send a command, we use this serial com. We're gonna check it uh, here. So the serial communication sends data from the Arduino IDE serial monitor to the SIM 800L. And if a feedback from the SIM 800L is uh, sent to the Arduino, it will be shown on the serial monitor. It just permits the communication between the serial monitor and the SIM 800L. So here 80 just if everything is okay it will show us okay and this command 80 plus cmgf equal one means we configure the sim 800l to a text mode or sms mode so and this command uh, it tells the module on the way to handle the sms received like if it want to start on here or send it to the serial uh, par for example to arduino and coding and everything you can find it uh, here so those are the parameters for that function you can check them but the one i use is a classic and works uh, pretty much okay you can choose what suits your project now we're gonna upload the code and power the module and check 
the result so here as you can see the module is already powered the arduino is powered via usb cable and we're gonna open the serial monitor so here as you can see we have starting and we've added that delay you can remove it if you want and first we sent AT command the module replies back with the OK and then we set it at text mode it said OK and we gave it the way to handle the new SMS received and it says OK too so now I'm going to send a SMS and as you can see the message is shown on the serial monitor and as you can see the full data is shown on the serial monitor CMT and my phone number or the phone number which used to send the message and the exact time that the message is sent so now if we want to request data we have to detect a string for example in that message and it's a bit tricky because as you can see the data is the full thing with all the numbers and the characters and everything and we have to detect for example DHT or MLX as we so before now we're gonna check the code for that so this is the code for that part and pretty much the important thing in this project here i have software serial library as usual wire for the i square c communication so and this one is for the emilix sensor and dht is for the dht sensor it depends on the sensors you are using and the library you have to use with them here I'm declaring the pin, so the DHT is on pin 7 and the DHT type which is 11 if you, you are using 22 for example replace it here we've seen this thing before and here I have this char received SMS it contains the full SMS as we saw before the full part of the SMS and it's stored in this value and we're gonna see what we can do with this later and here I have those uh, variables DHT OK or MLX OK they are used to search for if uh, the DHT word is found within the message or the MLX is found within the message or not and here is this string data SMS it contains the data that we're gonna send via SMS here we declare the TXD and RXD pins as uh, we did before here we declare our MLX sensor and the DHT sensor so first we start the communications all the communications Arduino with the ID with the serial monitor and SIM with the Arduino then the MLX and the DHT and we put the module in the receive mode we're gonna check this function so this is a receive mode function and as I used before send a simple AT command then set to the text mode and send to like a receiving message mode and the way to handle this SMS received so here I have the full loop function on the screen and here I have the string RSMS this is where I store the full message and as I said before I stored in a char but I have to change it to a string in order to use some other functions so here when SIM is available which means the SIM is sending data to the Arduino and the only case pretty much the only case when the sim will send data to Arduino it uh, if it received an SMS or text message and even if it received like something else it won't uh, affect us and it won't have any problem so here we store that message received on the received SMS as I said before this is a char 
and I show it on the serial monitor you can remove those serial print uh, functions if you want they don't have uh, a big effect just to show you what's happening and this is the bit uh, tricky part here I concrete this uh, received SMS char to the RSMS so the RSMS uh, string is initially empty and we concrete it with this received SMS which means like we change the received SMS to a string from char to a string I think there is maybe a simple way to do this but this is the one I, I found you can suggest other things so and why I changed it from char to string it's in order to use this index of function what this function do is actually search for DHD in this RSMS for example if we send SMS containing DHD it will check it here and give us its number like for example if it's at the beginning it will send us here 0 or if it's after one character it will send us one here and if it's not found it will be minus one same thing for the MLX so just the SMS is received and we look for those words DHD or MLX you can replace them by whatever you want you can add whatever you want and so here we can have pretty much two or three case so the case if DHT is found which means DHT okay it's different from uh, minus one it will shows on the serial monitor found the HD and it will get the data from the sensor H and T for humidity and temperature show them on the serial monitor you can remove this part if you want and this is the SMS we're gonna send it contains the HD temp and the temperature value plus humidity and the humidity value and here I use this send that data function so this is the send data function we saw this before we set the module at the sending sms mode and then we give it the phone number to which the sim will send the message and then the sms to send this is the data sms and we end up with this char 26 to tell that the this is the last character of the message and you can send it so after sending data we go back to receive mode as we saw before and we put this dht to minus one and amelix to minus one just to not trigger like the sending message another time maybe here i should have used only the ht to minus one since the mlx is not found but just to be careful use them both because i think i tried but it didn't work but i don't know you can use something else and here is the exact same thing if the mlx word is found it will show the data on the serial monitor and as well change this data sms so it can change from the dht to mlx uh, parameters and uh, things you can measure then send data again and come back to receive mode now let's power everything and check if it works well so here everything is powered again we're gonna open the serial monitor same thing as before and we're gonna send a SMS As you can see it works well we send a specified word within the SMS and the Arduino will send us the data via the module the only problem is that it's not uh, perfect you can for example make DHT let's check it from here as you can see I put the DHT word within the SMS even though there are other characters and it will be detected as the DHT so this is the so this is the method I used 
just look for a specified word within the message I think it's working okay if you have other version you can suggest it if you want so that's it for this project thank you for watching thanks to digit space for sponsoring maybe other projects will follow using the same module but this is the one for the moment